If you want the application to act out in a certain way, then you can work around with preferences. So to work around with preferences, you need to go around into the file menu. And if you were to go around into the preferences, you can see that there's many options right here. Let's say, for example, there's snap to pixel grid, which is turned on. Meaning if I were to move out, you can see that it snaps on each of the pixel right here. Uh, and it does not go um, in between the pixels. But if you want to turn that off, you can go around into the file menu, go around into preferences and turn off snap, snap, snap to pixel grid. So now you can see that you can move this around quite smoothly right here. You can go back into preferences and then enable this and you can see that it snaps back onto the grid again. So over here, you can see that you can go to preferences and here you have snap to objects, you have snap to geometry, as you can see right here. So right now, if I were to turn off snap to geometry, then what happens is that it does not snap right here. But if I were to go around into preferences and turn on um, uh, snap to objects, then it snaps out. So you can see that there's different options right here, like there's uh, highlight layers on hover, there's like high uh, canvas, UI you during changes right here. So if I were to do it, the canvas UI, uh, certain things will be uh, hidden out right here. You can go around over here. You can show Google fonts. You can go around invert the zoom direction over here as well, and then use number keys for opacity right here. So there's nuz amount uh, for big uh, things right here. So there's small nuz is one, big nuz is 10. So you can set out all of those things from preferences right here so that the uh, working pattern becomes the way you want. And that is how you can work around with preferences inside of Figma. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.